Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mike G, and it's Monday, June 6th. Elon Musk says that Tesla is working on its service in North America and aiming for the majority of appointments to be same-day repairs. Tesla's growing customer fleet is putting a lot of pressure on the service department, which sometimes lacks in accessibility, meaning that the service centers can be far from owners or the delay can get to an appointment can be days or weeks depending on the location. Tesla has made strides in improving their service capacity due to the growth of the company, but now it sounds like Musk and Tesla are readjusting again, as Musk announced on Twitter, quote, working on Tesla North America service. Goal is two-thirds of cars to receive same-day service, no wait. Mazda has announced plans to make its factories around the world carbon neutral by 2035. This is part of their larger goal of making its supply chain carbon neutral by 2050. Despite the commitments to carbon neutrality, the Japanese automaker currently only sells one compliance-level electric vehicle and plans to continue to sell combustion engines into the next decade. Ford has been providing an adapter for new F-150 Lightning electric pickup owners to charge stranded Tesla vehicles. One of the new owners posted online, quote, Going through the included items, I found an adapter to charge Teslas. Interesting find. If I find any dead Teslas, I'll let my Ford Lightning come to the rescue. Also included was an adapter to help with all Ford mobile chargers. I guess Ford wants us owners to start a national mobile charging network. Now, Tesla sells that same or similar J1772 to Tesla adapter for 50 bucks on their website, in which a Tesla owner can use it to charge their vehicle at any level 2 charging station. But this is a very strange move for Ford. The adapter has no other practical purpose for a Ford owner, only to charge a Tesla vehicle. So perhaps Ford is trying to insult Tesla, or just get in the news. At least one of these has been accomplished. Aptera has announced that it raised $40 million to bring its solar electric car to production. This three-wheeled vehicle has been a darling of the EV industry for over 10 years. Some time ago, the company launched only to be met with a variety of setbacks. Then it relaunched fairly recently, and now they are headed to production. In the meantime, the company is still taking reservations with a $100 deposit. The formerly defunct Chinese automaker Kiantu has unveiled a new car. We reported on Kiantu back in 2016. The company was a subsidiary of CH Auto and was among the first to receive manufacturing license for electric cars in China. Kiantu delivered only a few hundred vehicles of their Sport Electric, but then they stopped operation in 2020. However, it is now announced that they have relaunched a year after receiving new funding, and it's coming back with what they call the Kiantu K20. It's a small two-seater sporty car that can be had for a bargain price, starting at 86,800 yuan, which amounts to 13,000 in US dollars. We wish the Kiantu team the same luck as the resurrected Aptera. Solid State Battery Company Solid Power has announced the completion of its pilot manufacturing line designed to produce EV scale solid state battery cells. This pilot line is designed to manufacture sulfide based cells through a process that closely matches existing processes for lithium ion cell production. At full capacity, it is expected to produce 300 cells per week, which translates to about 15,000 solid state batteries per year. According to the battery developer, a majority of these pilot cells will be used for EV qualification testing. Solid Power has been partnering with the likes of Ford and BMW. In today's community comment, Steve Richmond says, Great podcast. Thanks. Thank you, Steve Richmond. By the way, we'll be out next week and we'll resume broadcasting in mid-June. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.